Co? No to podwórko zaprasza. No to podwórko zaprasza. Z Classic Bike Show w New York. Przyjechaliśmy na, na targi motoryzacyjne. Tam trochę motocykli, a dookoła mnóstwo, mnóstwo samochodów. Spróbujemy wam coś jeszcze więcej sfilmować. Na razie trzeba się dostać w kolejkę. Potem filmik jakoś posklejamy, poskładamy i będzie jakoś. Kolejna wystawka motocykli. Jest tego całkiem sporo. No słuchajcie, chodzimy tu od chwili dłuższej. W oczach aż się kręci. Tutaj macie takie uniwersalne liczniki. GPS-y, nie GPS-y i tak dalej. Tutaj kolejna gablota. Liczniki i światła LED. Jest wszystkiego no, mnóstwo siła. To jest dopiero pierwsza hala, do której żeśmy weszli. No i niestety nie wiem jak długo nam to zajmie. Będziemy coś dokładać, jakieś zdjęcia są porobione, spróbuję to zmontować. Nawet taka szkółka się trafiła, popatrzcie, fru i jedziemy w kółeczko. Szkoła bezpiecznej jazdy, albo jak to nazwać, jedziemy. Godne polecenia, każdy sobie powinien tak pojeździć. Później się pokaz odpalania zabytkowych motocykli, którego mam stopery w uszach. A co to? Nie działa. Na to stopery mi nie działają. Nie da się, nie da się na razie obrócić kamerki, więc będzie pewnie drugi film. to! Nie... Where these buckets, a little bit like the history. 
Is that me? Is that my voice breaking up? And about, about your machine, please. Right, it's uh, 1971 Java from the Czech Republic, 250. Uh, X work, X written, it's not working, uh, written by Fantastic uh, Cerner. Uh, we brought it back in a really bad state and we've uh, restored it over the last 10 years. Still used for racing on a rather, sort of rather basis, but uh, that's about 4%. So it's used in the, in the Czech Championship and pretty much built for that series. So again, so it was uh, built and wrecked in the Czech Championship. Yes, it was written in the Eastern Bloc, uh, Hungary and uh, places like that. Uh, championship winner in his day. And the, the series that followed this bike with uh, water cool, this is air cool, was very successful in his day. Are there many of these machines, these jars left around? Uh, no, not as far as we know, because the uh, the, the uh, Java workshop uh, shut down in the uh, uh, early 70s, and uh, so they ceased manufacture. So it's just this is a rare one. Uh, we, there is another one in the country that we've seen. But that's the only tool that we know of. So you have to be a little bit careful with it. Right, let's hear a run in mate, please.
organise this young fella, this is Alex George, who's a massive history, TT winner, Manx, Manx uh, Grand Prix winner, 24 hour racer and winner of the Boulder as well I believe. How are you mate? I guess that brings back a few memories with yeah. buzzing around on a two stroke. Not that smoky though. <laughs> oh yeah, all the things. We, we grew up in those, you know. 250, 350, 500, 750, on the one pound. They never stopped walking. A massive, I was just going to say, a massive amount of work with so many different bikes chucking the van and so many different classes that you raced up at uh, every event. Well, new factory riders had easy, you know, polishing the old tank, fit the hair gel in. <laughs> that was good luck. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, what have we got next? Go on, Nigel. This is your favourite, isn't it? It's my new toy. <laughs> this has just been built. It's literally now its second run since it was built. Um, built for hill climbing, sprinting, some historic circuit racing by myself. Uh, it's basically made from the sweepings of my workshop. It's a 1939 Triumph Army frame with a uh, 500cc T100 engine in it and the rest is bits and pieces I've got kicking around the garage really. So pretty much it's definitely just you, you fell out of love with your old bike, you've built this Triumph, the other ones are not and yet you've, you've, uh, you've built this Triumph, this is going to be your 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 ride, your competitive bike for this year? Yes, uh, soon, uh, later on you'll be seeing my North who, uh, Doris which is Fair, yeah, it's done well for the last three years, but it's, uh, it's a bit slow to say the least. This is nice and fast. It's much lighter. I can actually pick this thing up where there's Doris watching three of the, uh, the guys in yellow struggling with it. Just made me laugh, I'm afraid. Right, let's hear a running mate, please. Are you going to kick it off? Good man. Yeah. 
One, two, one. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. There? Yeah, how's that? Okay, so it's a seat edit. Keeps coming and going. <laughs> it's a six, seven, three. So it's a map.
Well, we saw we saw something of yours yesterday, which was completely different. First of all, why would you build something like this? It's a it's a proper hooligan machine. Well, um, you always look for different ideas to to make a band up. So there's a lot of ports about uh, Hondas. Yamaha's and that with Suzuki engines in, but nobody's actually built a band of quad from the ground up. So I thought I'd give it a go. Now, obviously it's road registered. Do you do you, do you use it much on the road? Yeah, I, I go for a black out now and then when the sun's shining, you know, and uh, have a play around the Scottish roads, like where the police are rather thin. So. <laughs> Did the old build obviously take notice of it and you know pull you over and ask you exactly what it is? Um, yeah, I did have a comment off one policeman. He did actually say that's the fastest agricultural vehicle he'd ever seen. <laughs> I bet. And is it uh, is it standard? Obviously the the motor. Yeah, it's a standard 600. I mean, they're capable of 125 mile an hour anyway, so with the road being rather close to you, that seems fast enough. Right, let's, let's hear it running, mate, please. Just bring a board a little bit so the guys can see it and uh, get a struck up and let's have a listen. If it starts, flip it out. Start. But uh, I think she's a bit envious. 
Right. So we've obviously, you've obviously had this for a while and done a lot with it. Let's hear it running. And I'll just uh, be aware of that. If you're interested in this machine, you can you can bid him on it. He's that fed up with it. I think he'll take next to nothing in all fairness.